Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Sometimes I uh, go off on a tangent from my normal topics, largely related to technology, but sometimes I, I get political. Uh, I'm a human being. I am an American citizen. Uh, if you prick me, do I not sue? An email uh, sent to me, uh, chris at perillo.com, if you'd like to send me an email. Starts out, hello, Mr. Perillo. <laughs> so formal, please. Call me Mr. Perillo. I'd like to propose a topic for one of your recordings. It should be the discussion of the impact of people using social networking and the internet in general to raise money and awareness for their favorite U.S. presidential nominees. In particular, the way the campaign for Texas Congressman Ron Paul is being run and how his message is so successful in breeding a rabid online and offline following. He's now got more cash in hand than Senator John McCain as of today, October 17th. Well, it's been a while since I've read this. It's uh, now he's a top three candidate for the GOP in terms of cash on hand. Without the name recognition by running an internet-based guerrilla marketing campaign to take on the candidates with much, much deeper pockets, I feel this would be an interesting topic for discussion on your show. Thanks. Big fan of your YouTube channel, Jake Beischlag. And he is Alan's friend, and I, I probably slaughtered his last name, but that's okay. He called me Mr. Perillo. Nobody calls me Mr. Perillo. Well... My dogs do, but yeah, you know, there's a whole different story. So Ron Paul, uh, wow, um, gosh, I know they're just gonna come out of the woodwork now. Um, I gotta tell you, I uh, am an independent, a fierce independent, and uh, because of that, uh, I have certainly taken a, a deeper look at all the candidates, including Ron Paul. And uh, we'll, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you who I'm coming out and supporting because, you know, this is not necessarily a political type of video. It's more like talking about the impact of all these social networking sites and uh, the, the groundswell support that comes from the Internet to support uh, candidates. I think the Ron Paul phenomenon is, first of all, fantastic. I think the future of politics the future of elections is going to be decided on the internet. However, that said, um, despite the fact that Ron Paul has an enormous amount of support from geeks or people who are online, whether they're geeks or not, they're technically astute. They do their own research. Uh, they look at a lot more than what happens to be on television or on the radio or in the newspapers. Um, Ron Paul's philosophy and his background, everything that he stands for, falls very much in line with that same type of personality, generally speaking. Now, that's not to say that that's the whole reason why he's just done an amazing job without really doing anything. I don't think, I don't even know if the guy was ever on the internet before. <laughs> I mean, granted, he's got a, a page on house.gov, uh, but, you know, I'm sure he'd have no idea what any of these sites were. Um, but that didn't stop American citizens from coming out and saying, we believe in what this guy is and what his track record is. And I think that's amazing. Uh, but it's still kind of up in the air whether or not uh, Ron Paul is attractive to the mindset that we have as people who love being online. Uh, we have similar values. Um, we have take a similar approach. Um, you know, Ron Paul suggests smaller government. Certainly, he wants to abolish the Fed. And if you understand anything about where the American dollar is right now, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not. I, again, I'm not. Not going to go too deep into it. I'm not going to tell you who I'm uh, going to be voting for, but I will tell you I am voting, and uh, I will tell you I am fiercely independent, uh, as I believe most people should be uh, on anything, whether it's an operating system uh, or whether it's a pol uh, politician. Uh, or a set of politicians. I mean, you've you got to think for yourself. You've got to fend for yourself. Uh, we're all together in this, right? We all 
should believe in the one thing, and and that is what? I don't know. What's that one thing? Well, that one thing's different for everybody, and that's what makes a country so difficult to run. It's difficult enough to run a chat room, let alone an entire country. So uh, I think uh, moving forward, I think Ron Paul was a breakaway candidate, or is, I should say. He's, he's not done yet. Um, I think the future is certainly in the Internet's favor in terms of political process and influence. Um, I think right now major media still has a stranglehold on thought processes. Um, too many people are regurgitating propaganda. Whether it's liberal or conservative, doesn't matter. It's still propaganda. Um, as soon as people, in general, citizens of the world, citizens of this country, citizens of the internet, uh, start thinking for themselves, the internet will become this massive information system. I mean, it is now. And, and people are coming together now, and Ron Paul's really got that support more than any other candidate. And that's, that's what I think impresses me the most about what I see, because I know this is the future of politics. Yeah, I think it's huge. Um, getting together and, you know, saying, hey, we believe in this guy or girl, or I'm sorry, I don't mean guy or girl, uh, male or female, I, I'm not trying to be. Uh, we believe in this candidate uh, and, and believe in them so strongly. Uh, that Internet community. Uh, is is very very it's near and dear to my heart. I mean, hey, I I survive on it. Uh, YouTube is a great uh, vector for me to discover people out there who think the same way I do or enjoy the same things I do. Um, like I said, I don't really get into politics all this much, and honestly, I think this is the first time I've ever recorded a conversation or shared it uh, that had something to do with either politics or specifically Ron Paul. Um, I had John Edwards uh, keynote my conference a couple of years ago, uh, so it's not that I'm a, you can't nail me as a Republican or a Democrat. I told you I'm independent. I, I, I can prove it every time. Politics is personal, and that's why I don't want to dive into you know who I would necessarily support. But I want to call your attention specifically to this process. Um, the internet is where politics is today, and it's where it's going to be tomorrow. And uh, the sooner you understand and accept that. The better off we're, we're going to be, I think, when you start thinking for yourself. But of course, you're, you're also welcome to turn to other people who believe the same things you believe. Um, I may be one of them uh, as a fierce independent. Some might call me uh, just a geek. That's all I am. And I enjoy the internet and everything it provides, including you. Uh, if you want to email me, chris at perillo.com. If you'd ask, well, Chris, would you ever interview Ron Paul? Yeah. <laughs> I jump at that opportunity. I think the, the fact that he's not a geek and the internet just has adopted him, I don't, maybe he's like, honestly, I think he's like the world's first internet candidate and he knows virtually nothing about the internet. I, that's just great. It's just, it's just funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's great in a funny way. Anyway, what do you think this uh, political process is going to turn into in the coming years? Uh, our we going to use the internet more and more to network with not just the candidates but other people who support the candidates or uh, the same issues that we support? It's inevitable in my mind, but what do you think? Are you with me or are you against me? <laughs> Sorry, I was. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> email me, chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to swing by the chat room. We usually don't talk about politics. Sometimes we do, but not a lot. We typically talk about technology. And that's what we're talking about here. The impact of technology on the political process. I gotta leave it at that. If you wanna stop by and say hello, uh, you can swing by anytime, day or night at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.